restaurant in the Netherlands serves a burger called My Little Pony. This burger is made from actual pony meat. We're gonna talk about it right now on IO. Hey right, guys, what's going down? I'm Charlotte. And I'm Charles. Danny gave us candy canes. Thanks, Danny. Shout out to Danny for most amazing top 10. You guys should go check out their channel, they're really good. They give us sweets. They give us candy. <laughs> so, would you eat horse meat? Would you eat horse meat? Potentially already have without knowing it. Oh, but we'll get to that later. All right, so a progressive chef named Bob Hengeveld has a restaurant in the Netherlands called Food Gorilla. They serve non-conventional food, and yep, ponies. Oh, the vegetarians and vegans are not gonna like this video. So, the burgers come from Kuchen van het Onvensdier, which means I can't read Dutch, which means the unwanted animal kitchen. They take meat from animals that are unwanted that are on the way to be slaughtered anyway. Sometimes these ponies actually can't walk around anymore from kids sitting on their backs, which is kind of really sad. Humans, you suck. Humans do suck, but at least this meat isn't being wasted. If these animals are just gonna be slaughtered anyway, we might as well eat them. The fact is, people have eaten horse meat for many centuries, maybe even thousands of years. It's a common thing for people to eat in Central Asia too. People who have eaten it describe it as actually tastier than beef. Apparently, these burgers don't sell very well. Breeders said that people feel bad about the idea of eating a horse, and you really have to explain to them about the unwanted wanted pony thing for them to even consider eating it. When she's cooking, she doesn't have time to give that whole spiel. I think it actually might have something to do with the name of the burger. It's a bit morbid, isn't it? I had a My Little Pony when I was a kid, and I know a lot of other girls my age loved ponies. I would never even consider eating ponies just because I loved them when I was little. The chef, Bob Hengvild, looks at this as a way to prevent waste. But lately, it seems that larger companies have caught on to the idea of using old meat because it's good business. Even worse, people were eating horse meat in the UK and they didn't even know about it. Back in 2013, there was a huge scandal in Europe where several companies were selling food, advertised as beef, but it was found to have undeclared horse meat in it. The practice is really cool. You should try it. The practice is called food fraud and is still a problem to this day. You might have already eaten horse meat and you didn't even know. So after everything we just told you, would you eat horse meat? Yar on me. Let us know in those comments. <laughs> Speaking of comments, here's uh, some of yours. Master Dan said Charlotte should do a face swap with a carrot. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I could do that. that sounds good. Put a carrot here, you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> How does Charlotte look like a carrot? This is the problem with candy canes, they're so sticky. Yeah, it sticks your teeth. Not a fan of that. It sticks your teeth. Anyway, next up, No Martinez asked, how do you guys get your info? Well, No Martinez, everything we talk about on IO is trending, so we just kind of look for trending topics. Topics? Topics. Topics mm. and news, yeah. Mm. Last comment comes from Isaiah Gamer. Could you guys dab for me, please? One, One two, two, three. three. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> We're gonna go. It's been a treat. See you later.